Hi everyone, welcome to GC Tech Reviews. Today I'm reviewing a computer desk by a company called Mainstays. This is the second one I purchased here. I wanted to have an additional so I could attach to the existing, so I could run additional monitors and everything. So I want to go through the unboxing today and set it all up to go over the features of it. So let's get right to the un unboxing. And okay, now I'm going to open this box up. Uh, first thing I come to here is the directions. That's to the side. This is the cardboard here. Here's some documentation on the different colors and everything they offer. That they offer furniture for your living room, your bedroom. There's a bunch of collections. And here's the instruction manual. And for the instruction manual, they say you need a a rubber mallet and a screwdriver to put this together. There's your hardware list. A piece of cardboard. Put these two end units here. One. It's two. The packing material. <coughs> Two plastic cylinders. Here's your screws and everything the end. Dials, glue, and it looks like uh, the desk feet. And here's the pieces. One. two piece and here's the top of the desk okay now the first page here they're asking for you to attach the L brackets to both the crossbars using uh, these size screws so I'm going to do that now Here's the brackets they're referring to, and they have a sort of a pre-drilled hole there already. No, I could, I'm not going to put that in there too tight, just a little bit snug. And I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Just remember when you're putting the brackets on, make sure they face this side here. Same screw. There we go. Now they're both on there. Okay, in the next part of the directions, they, they ask you to take the uh, desktop itself, which we have right here. And they're asking you to insert a smaller column in right here. In fact, it's the uh, medium tube. And that'll go in on this side here. So you can see there's a sort of a, a threaded bolt coming out of that. So you want to put that on there. Turn it clockwise. Same thing, I'm just going to make sure that's snug in there. So that's your page, page one of directions, or they refer to it as page four. And now I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to build the sides. So, okay, now we're going to move into step four where we insert glue into the, into the dial holes and then we attach our side panels. 
So these are our south side panels here. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert glue into the six holes. So one, two, and you don't need to overdo it or anything. You don't need to. Now, the next step you want to do here is attach the side panels. Now there's one side panel here. There's two, four, six, eight holes. You want this one to be on this side here. And the reason you do it is this is where your carve your desk is. And that's where your extra shelving is going to be. So you want to make sure this one goes there. But I'm going to put this in just for the video sake so you can see how I'm inserting this. So here you have two four holes. This will go this will be used for the brace. Okay? And it doesn't matter what side. Back here. So you want to just line up your your holes with the dials. Just like that. Press it down there. Use your mallet. Tap it into place. Don't ever do it, just tap it into place. So it's level. And this, now what you want to do with this one, remember the one with the most holes is going to go on the side with your with the with the oval shape. So you want to line it up, same way you did the back end. Line them holes up. Shoot down with your hands. Just tap it down so it's flat and secure. And that does it for uh, step four. Okay, now step five here. They ask you to uh, to attach the crossbars to the side panels using screw five. This is screw five, and these are your crossbars. So when you insert your crossbars, you want to make sure the rough side's down. And there's also a screw here where your bracket's going to go on. These these brackets here, they're called your L bracket. So you want to, want to make sure that's on the inside of your desk. So let me show you how you do that. And use the bottom of the desk to push it around because it's not exactly sec completely secure yet until you get all this bracing in place. So again, the rough side down. Remember that hole goes on the inside. So the back one, that's how it would go. And then your other crossbar, same thing. Your rough side down, that screw hole on the inside, because that's where the bracket's going to go. And you want to take each of your screws and start putting those in. And you just push the screw in a little, just a bit, just to get it started. There's a pre-drilled hole there, or it should be anyway. If not, you're going to, once you get it started, screw up the rest of the way in. Want to hold that secure until you get that locked down and always flush, don't overdo it. Do it flush and a, a, a bit more, maybe a quarter of a turn more, and that's it. Fiber board, it'll, it'll split on you. Hold it in, you should get a flush about a quarter turn. Flip it over and do the other side. We're utilizing those same screws. The same thing. Put that in a little bit until you get into that pre-drilled hole. Turn it in, lock it in with your finger. Turn your desk around. The same thing on this side. Into the pre-drilled hole a bit. Once you get it in there, take your screw it over. Just screw it right into place. To get to the end there, you want to hold that crossbar in. Lock it in. Now you can see this thing starting to firm up pretty good now. And I'm going to put the last remaining screw in and lock it down. Okay. Moving to step six where we attach our L bracket. To the top panel using screw number six. So again, 
This is screw number six, the smallest one. And we're going to insert that screw right here. So we're going to make this bracket here locked down to the top of the desk. That's how you firm that up. So same thing, you want to line it up with the pre-drilled hole. Lock her down. And then your last one. I'll lock this one down. Get it into that pre-drilled hole. And there she is. There we go. Now we're going to move into, we're going to stay on step six here, but we're going to move on to 6.2, where you attach your back panel, which is this here, to the side panel. So your back panel is E, and we're going to attach into the side panel B and C. So I'm going to turn the desk around so you can get a better view of this. Here's the holes we're going to be used, utilizing right here, and there's two on this side also. And when you turn it over here, we're going to also be utilizing these screws, which are known as number five. So you just want to hold this up. It doesn't matter which side because they're both black covered. Just want to make sure this is facing on the inside. Yeah, I want to hold that against there too. It doesn't wiggle too much. It's knocked out of place. Made that one snug. Same thing with this one. There we go. So this side's nice and tight. And I'm going to turn around. We're going to do this side here. And again, secure this cross brace in here. It doesn't move on you. There we go. Now step number six is done. This is page six. We're going to move on to page seven in here. Uh, we're going to go to step seven where you attach the plastic foot with the pin to the end of the side panels. So this is your feet and you want to use a mallet and you want to lock these down. So at the top of this board you have two little pin holes or pre-drilled holes. So you're going to put that in there. It's the tab bit. The other foot on the other side. You want to use your mallet. Tap that down. Once you get it tapped down, just make sure it's even on there. These are going to be your desk feet. And there we go. Let's turn it over and do the other side. Same thing. Your feet. Push them in that pre drill hole. Push it down as much as you can. And same thing with the other side. And take your mallet and finish it up by tapping it all the way down. Make sure it's even with the board. Thing with this side. And that's it. Your feet are in place. So that we finished up step number seven. We're going to then move on to step number eight. At step number eight, they want you to attach the side center shelf to the side panel. So what they're asking here... They want you to attach the side center shelf, which I have right here, and you have two of these, and they're both the same thing. They got the wood on the one side and the black finish on the top. So what they want you to do, they want you to attach the side center shelf shelf which is F which is this one here you can see there's an, well, it looks like an F but yeah that's the F to the side panel using the screws And I removed that before so it didn't get in the way. So you take your side sh shelf F and attach it like this, put it in just like that. 
And what you want to do is you want to have your wood here facing down. Facing up. Just like the, the bottom. Okay? And you want to take these screws. Put them on this side. Bring it through there. Find the pre-drilled holes. This is not going to be so easy for me. There we go. I got it. And just put that in there a bit. Same thing with the other side. Put that in there just like that. And then you want to turn it around. You want to secure the screws. And the same thing with this side. Now they want to attach the long tube, number one, which is this, to the medium tube. And they ask you not to over tighten it. So here's the long tube. Here's the male end. This is the female end. You have a male end from the small tube. And you want to put that down on there. And as they indicated, do not over tighten it. So we'll make that snug. And there you just finish with step number eight. So we're going to then move on to page eight. Step number nine. Number nine. They want you to attach the side bottom shelf, which is G. This is this one here, to the side panel, utilizing these screws. So the same thing here. You want to put that down. For make sure your wood sides up. And on the back of here, you're going to insert these screws and line them up with the pre-drilled hole. If I can bring your screw through there, and these ones here are a little bit more difficult to find. Let me move this down here. There we go. I got it. And let's make it finger tight for now. Matter of fact, I'm going to get the screwdriver. I'm going to turn this in a bit. I don't know how good. There we go. Just until you get a good. There we go. And I'm going to put this in. I'm going to take this one in most of the way. I don't want to turn the desk around and have this go unsecure and possibly snap off. So let me turn the entire desk. As you can tell this thing's getting much more stable. And then we're down to our last number, last screw here. So the same thing, you want to take this screw, put it into this hole, in the pre-drilled hole. Okay, I just want to turn this around here a bit more so you can see this. And you can see right there. So, turn it. Get that in there. Lock it down all the time. Remember, make sure it's flat and then turn it just a tiny bit more because you don't want to strip these out. And so there you have it, the completed computer desk by Mainstays. Final thoughts on it. I think it's an excellent desk, uh, especially the size and everything of it. In this picture, they show a laptop on here, a book, and some accessories. Mine upstairs, I have a computer monitor on it. I have a keyboard on it. In fact, I've even put two computer monitors on here keyboard, mouse, and some additional accessories. Right here, my mini tower goes. So I think it's plenty of room for things like that. Uh, I really like the finish. I like this black finish. I like these uh, columns here that they have. The gray finish. It looks very nice. Especially like the width of this. So it's not going to take up much room in that, in that room. So you're going to put this right up against the wall, about up against the wall, and you're going to have 15.5 inches out, out from there. Uh, as far as building it, I thought it was fairly simple. I mean, I just followed the instructions, and it seemed pretty simple from there. If you have any problems, just follow along with my video. 
Uh, I want to thank you for watching my video today. Hopefully you found this useful. Uh, please like and subscribe. And check out my channel for other videos. I got some other tech videos out there that might be useful for you. I'm also going to post a link on the site for you to be able to view this and see it and purchase it on Amazon. So again, thank you very much for viewing today. I appreciate it.